It's a breezy one. Well, well, well. <sighs> Sorry about this one, everyone, but good afternoon and evening. This is Terraquator instead. <laughs> it's Tuesday. It's supposed to be Tess's day. I took it. I'm a little frustrated right now. Yeah, this this cat's here, so uh Fuck Hang on. I'm gonna try to get this cat up here. Uh, this is not our cat. This is not our cat at all. No, you're not. But you keep trying to come into our house. He stole one of our scones today. Well, he absconded with one of our old uh, American biscuits. Because we had biscuits and gravy for breakfast today. And I know, I know if you if you think, if you're British, and I have a lot of British friends, so I, sometimes I have to correct, you know, make it easy for them and say, it's a scone. But I'm frustrated right now. I, um, if you can tell, I'm a little gunky right now. I just spent the afternoon uh, I had to go to the store. I did I did some shopping, then I had to go to another store. But then I realized I really needed to take care of some stuff in the yard. I'm not even done. Nope. I have to do it the hard way. Because um, some, some weeds are a little overgrown in some spots, and I want to get them taken care of, get them out of the way, because I don't like it. It looks ugly. But I went to go get my yard tools. Someone got into our shed and stole my weed whacker. Not thrilled about that. So, I have to pull all the weeds, which I have been. I already got um, the entire outside of the easement. Now I need to take care of the inside of the fence. But there's one particular vine weed that I'm going to have to get different gloves for or something because it has a lot of thorns that just go right through my gloves. Isn't it great? Yeah. I know the inside of the shed is absolutely falling apart. The landlord's talking about wanting to get rid of the shed. But of all the things for someone to go in there and steal, they didn't steal my lawnmower, but it uses a, I guess it's because it uses a proprietary battery or something where they couldn't just haul off with it. But of all the things they took, they took my weed whacker. I needed that. It's just a simple, Battery oper it's, it's a battery operated Black and Decker weed whacker. They're they're not ex they're not real super expensive, and it's not like I'm going to sit there and turn around and go to my insurance and be like, hey, um, I need to make an insurance claim because someone stole my, you know, one hundred twenty dollar weed whacker. Well, it was like one hundred fifty when I bought it. Maybe it was one hundred eighty, but it's not that expensive anymore because it's an older model. So it's like, it's like someone sp stole my weed whacker that I've had for a few years. The thing is, though, my premium to take care of the theft would be more expensive than just than what I paid for it. So there's no point in me filing an insurance claim for for the weed whacker. I mean, it'd be nice if it worked that way, but insurance is like if you have to make an insurance claim, it's an it's a five hundred dollar premium, like. Weed Whacker's not even worth $500. In fact, I can't even say I've seen a Weed Whacker for $500 before. This cat. And and I, I can deal with some cat right now, because I have um, I was able to get some size all. Okay, so he just wants to roll around. <sighs> still not our cat. But yeah, sorry Tessa, I took over today. We're still waiting on uh, two more mod updates to go through before we play uh, Shattered Space. And a lot of it is, you know, we got all of the achievements initially in like the first month, maybe maybe two months the game was out, we got all the achievements. So we're like, okay, we got all the mods, let's go, let's go ahead and throw some mods in there. Or we had all the achievements, so we decided, yeah, we're, we're gonna go ahead and mod it because who doesn't like modded Bethesda games, you know? Or Bethesda, or whatever. I say Bethesda. Whatever. But I, I, I went ahead and did that. And... Two of the mod, Like, the uh, the main mod that people worried about was the um, SFSC. That one updated late last night. I'd say around midnight our time. But the other two... 
that I still need that I'm still waiting for updates. Um, one of them uh, requires SFSE. That one hasn't been updated yet. Is the uh, char uh, the character generator menu? So when you're dealing with making your character, it has um, extra tube. I don't see the functionality for it, but because it's there, if I don't update, it could cause some problems. The other one is a really fun one on PC. If you go to Nexus Mod Mods Ma uh, Nexus Mod Manager or uh, Nexus Mods, you know, uh, is um, it requires a few uh, other um, plugins. It allows you to carry over your player inventory when you go to New Game Plus and like you go through the Unity. It allows you to take to co to make a batch file or some some kind of file to save what your inventory is. So when you go through the Unity, you have nothing, and then you just put in a console command, and you're like, uh, it's like a restore player items or something like that, and it'll be like, here you go. It's a fun one so that one needs updating i can but because that's a big one and it's like it says these are earlier versions i don't want to start up my game of starfield without those updating because you usually don't want to mess with removing mods usually and the thing is you, you think okay just play without the mods or you know turn the mods off well it screwed up it's like we'll start a new game here's the problem that playthrough, I'm level 273, so I put a lot of time into it. I, I put a lot of time into it. And I don't feel like going through all the bazazzle. Is that even the right word? No, no, it's not. But uh, through all the paces to get my character to where it, my, my like, if to get another character where my current one is now. Captain Titties is level 273 and all of the combat skills are maxed out. Almost all of my, um, not the science ones, but, all, well, actually almost all the science, all the science, in fact, I think there's only two left in the science, uh, section of the skills, and then the, uh, the flight one, almost all, both of those, almost all of them are maxed out. So now I need to work on a few, uh, I think like two more in the health area. One, one of the ones in the health, in the, um, health area is, um, fitness, I think. Was it fitness? The one for, um, using an entire tank of O2 and then, you know, your CO2. That one. I hate it so much. Combat is so much easier compared to that. But what I will say, if you want to do an unhanded, like, a, um, a fisticuffs gameplay, you definitely want to max out all your, all your, uh, in fact, I do this early, like, if you're doing a playthrough and you want to have an unarmed character, do it, er, do your unarmed skills early, because the higher level they are, it takes for freaking ever. And I can tell you right now, I have fisticuffed a level 200 Terramorph. It took so long. It took so long to fist a cup and tear a more. It took me like an hour just to punch a level 200 terramorph down. But what does help now is I have neuro strikes maxed out. So I'm. It's really hard to. Uh, Take any significant damage from an enemy when you're just punching them and they're stunned, like an EM strike. It's like, it's actually, it's actually very fun. Another one that I like having is uh, some of the jetpack skills when you do an unarmed play, where it's, you can just torture your, you can just torture some spacers, where you just punch them out and then you can just start using your boost pack because it, at the higher skills your boost pack can knock them over. But it can also light them on fire. So you can stun them and then jump pack light them on fire. So when they start to get back up, they're on fire. And you punch them, you knock them down, and they're stunned again. Rinse and repeat. Oh, it's so fun. It's really unfortunate that people say that, that Starfield was boring. It's just, I, I think what it is... Yes, there are things that I roll my eyes at in Starfield. 
like really roll my eyes like was this necessary no it was not necessary but overall the game is still good it could be better I mean any game could be better I mean look at Halo Reach that, that was a really really good game it still could have been better Frankly, I'll tell you right now, I did. I I was someone who did like Halo Four and Five. They were fun, especially with the. Um, I, I liked the mobility of Halo Five. Like, in the next Halo game, I'd like to see some of the equipment that was in Halo Infinite get coupled with the mobility from Halo Five, just so you can be extra mean to the brutes or the Jarl Hanai. <laughs> By the way, uh, I just got a message from Lilia. She's on her way home right now. Because uh, she was well, she was with her mother today. And it's just me. And this cat, this cat is probably just waiting to go in, into our house. That's what he's just waiting to do right now. But I, I apologize for um, taking it away from Tessa today. But um, there's a lot I need to worry about. I especially when they get home there's too much I have to worry about to work uh, when it comes to what needs to be done versus do I want to set up all the VR stuff the tracking worry about tripping over everything that needs to be done because there is more that needs to be done I need to I need to clean our uh, deep fry pot out because it sounds like we're having double deckers and chalupas tonight homemade of course I I, I still home make a home fry my own shells and I found the uh, Mission flour tortillas that are pretty much the flatbread, kind of like what they do over at Taco Bell for their gorditas and chalupas. I, I found some of those. And I'm, well, I'm going to fry those. I want some chalupas. It's going to be good. It's going to be really good. And, of course, I, I, act, I, I, I went looking for Greek yogurt instead of sour cream. I prefer Greek yogurt over sour cream in my Tex-Mex tacos now because... It's supposed to be better for you. I mean, yogurt is already a probiotic, so there's a huge bonus there. But what, somehow, when you put it in Tex-Mex, it actually enhances the flavor of your Tex-Mex. It's pretty good. So if you have, if you like having Taco Supremes, swap your sour cream out for some plain, no sweet, no sugar, just plain Greek yogurt. Try it, and you'll and you'll thank yourself for trying it. It's it's good stuff. <sighs> I need to leave it at that. Oh yeah, and it is, um, ironically, it's what, day 275? Yeah. I took 275 away from Tessa. I should double check that one. I apologize for not saying it earlier. I'll just, I'll just put an asterisk in there, especially if I got it wrong because I forgot to do a double check. An odd, in I could talk about a whole lot more right now, but you can tell it's windy out right now. It's breezy. It feels so good right now. I think I might just open some windows up. It feels that nice. But I want everyone else to enjoy their Tuesday because it's officially October. And people have officially changed it to Hawktober. Okay, I, I guess that's a step up from what I called it for a while. I can't say it here because I'm not. I'm doing the whole no cursing thing. Even though I'm still very upset someone sold my weed whacker. But anyway, this is Terra Quator on your Tuesday, October 1st, 2024, day 275. I will give this back to Tessa tomorrow. See you around, everyone. I'm going to go deal with that cat.